Okay, so 3x plus y equals 3, and we're solving for y. So um, we got to get y in its own. we got to make it look like this, y equals something. Now, what's stopping us, what's messing up our lines right now is that 3x over there. That guy has to be gotten rid of somehow. So let's get rid of the 3x, everybody, there, and, and then I'll do it. So we need to subtract 3x from both sides. Subtract 3x from both sides. And y equals 3 minus 3x. Or I'm actually going to write that with the x term first and then the number. We have a negative 3x and a positive 3. Because that now it's in the kind of y equals mx plus b form mx plus b, where your m is negative 3, your slope is negative 3, your y-intercept b is positive 3, right? Okay with that part? Yes. And now I'm just going to write up a table, and I'm going to make up numbers, and I'm just going to make up uh, negative 1, 0, and 1. And I just made those up. You guys can put in 1, 2, 3. Or you can put in, I don't know, negative 2, 0, 2, or whatever. Something around 0, though, because um, that's how these questions are set up. You want to be, you want to find your y-intercept. So definitely, whatever numbers you guys pick, make sure you pick x is 0 for one of them. And um, negative 3 times x plus 3. So we've we got to plug in the x value to get the y values each time. All right, so I'm going to plug in negative 1, 0, and 1, and then calculate each one of those. So negative 3 times negative 1, positive 3 plus 3, 6, right? Negative 3 times 0 is 0 plus 3, which is 3. Negative 3 times 1, negative 3 plus 3 which is zero. You okay with that? Yeah. So we have our points are negative one, six, zero, three, and one, zero. And you guys can just plot these off of the table. Like x is negative one, y is six, that's there. Um, but I mean, sometimes students like to write the points in like this, negative one, six, and that's fine. You can do that as well. It doesn't, it doesn't actually matter, though, because you can see them off the table, 1, 0. So negative 1, 6, x is 0, y is 3, and x is 1, y is 0. And then we draw a line through it. And that's our line, y equals negative x plus 3. And I'm just going to check the slope on y-intercept. So here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. The y-intercept, the b, is where the line hits the y-axis. And it does hit it at 1, 2, 3. So that is this, the, uh, the b, the y-intercept. So that's good. Um, the slope should be negative 3. So the rise over the run should equal negative 3. If I take any two points, like like I'll just take, um, just for fun, I'll just take this point to this point. To get from here to here, I, I, I go across one, and then I go down three. So the run is one, and then I drop three, right? So my rise over run is run one, and rise negative three, right? Because I... So you went down three, so over one, down three. So if you look at the slope here, it's, you go over one, you go down three, over one, down three, over one, down three, and that's how you make that line. So the run is one, the rise is negative three, and that makes negative three, so that's our M. M is negative three. Make sense? Let me just lift that up. Ah, there we go. 
Yeah.